Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your S&P 500 day trade setups for today. A pretty solid bit of structure here. This trend line, as I pointed out yesterday, was tested. Uh, it was tested in two eight-hour bars. So, but, yeah, your entry was really only above the break of 43.50, and uh, that is kind of my line in the sand at the moment. And then we still have the neckline of our inverse head and shoulders here. To pay attention to so uh, looking at the three hour not so keen on, on the oscillators at the moment but if we do look at if we do look at this area here uh, you know any pullback onto 43.50 could very well be an opportunity to buy uh, but I'm more watching 43.95 or 4400 break above 4400 retest it hold it that validates this inverse head and shoulders that's a decent area for a long moving average just starting to cross over this is the 155 so that would be a break of the 155 and a pullback to come and test the 155 that's a daily gaff textbook entry for me anyway so looking at the one hour you'll see you know yesterday we had uh, pullback onto the structure as i said in the video so probably an opportunity here uh, not really that keen on taking it because we were below the moving averages but then you can see what happened got the moving averages that crossed over broke through again came back and then tested it yeah um, so there was definitely an opportunity so at the moment price action that we're seeing there is a move up this is the consolidation in other words a flag that is what is looking like is going to happen at the moment so you probably see it clearer on the 15 minute there's our move up messy move up here's our consolidation and now you can see we are above the moving averages quite far above the moving averages don't like the the oscillators at the moment but um, i would be keen i would be really keen to look at what happens here 43.50 if we pull back there and we hold it and we get price action there in other words an engulfing bar an inside bar or a pin bar like that then we're definitely looking for an opportunity to buy into that your stop is going to be relatively large at the moment so it's 400 points so uh, for me because my stop loss i prefer my stop losses being around 150 160 points uh, just basically means i divide my position size by the number of points in other words i reduce my position size to make sure that my risk would be the same as having a stop loss of 150 points so that would be the opportunity definitely this would be the target so it's a one-to-one -one trade basically and that's uh, 4396 uh, 44 4400 so the top here is at 4400 those tails there so that's the area to break guys um, if you do get above 4400 then hard start looking to add to this and in fact even on my long-term portfolio I did start adding uh, some S&P EFTs uh, down in this area here and I'm prepared to add even further down as well but um, this is starting to look like something uh, which is going to be a long-term view for me anyway that's kind of my view at the moment just waiting for the break of this area we get the break on the retest of the area then definitely chasing the measured move of 44.62 um, but then I would expect a pullback off there, come and test this area, and that's going to be an area to but jump back in for and to hold for their head and shoulders. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is 2,947 points. So that's well worth playing for. It's actually well worth sitting on your hands for a month to get an opportunity to trade something like that. Anyway, that's kind of my view at the moment. Hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.